So what I would more than likely do is draw in my diagonals here. Because this is a rhombus, these diagonals meet at a right angle. And these uh, two segments, the diagonals are bisected because it is a parallelogram. And so that's going to cut, cut this angle in half, so giving me a 25 degree angle here. And so what I can do is find my x and y's by using trig ratios. So with respect to this right triangle here, and I'm going to, I'll highlight it to designate, I'm going to use this right triangle to find my measurements. So with respect to this angle, to solve for x, I have opposite and hypotenuse. Opposite and hypotenuse are related by which trig ratio? Sine. So I know that the sine of 25 degrees is equal to opposite x over hypotenuse 20. So if I multiply both sides by 20, I get my x value, which if I calculate uh, 20 times sine of 25, I'll put a decimal in there. So this is my x value. I can double this to get my whole diagonal. So I get 16.9041. So there's one of my diagonals. And I can do the same thing, but find y in the, uh, uh, to find the other diagonal. So I take my angle with respect to that angle. y is the adjacent leg, and I have my hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse are related by which trig ratio? Cosine. So the cosine of 25 degrees is equal to adjacent y over hypotenuse 20. Multiply both sides by 20. And that gives me my uh, value for y. Here I get 20 times the cosine of 25. I'll put it in a decimal form. So here's my length for y. I need to double it to get the whole diagonal. So if I double this, I get 36.25. And so these would be my two uh, diagonals. And now I left some space here because I, I mentioned it, but I want to go ahead and talk through. And it is possible that you could solve this by using an oblique or non-right triangle, just because they give you two sides and the included angle. SAS uh, lends you to use the law of cosines. Okay, so if I were to call this part C, I could say that c squared is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So 20 squared plus 20 squared minus twice the product of those two sides times the cosine of the angle opposite that, which is the whole thing 50 degrees. And so if I use the solve feature on my calculator and found c, this time I'd get the whole length. I wouldn't have to double it. So I, if I went into the solve and type this in, I'll go ahead and use C, but I could change it to X if I wanted to, but C squared is equal to 20 squared plus 20 squared minus 2 times 20 times 20 times the cosine of 50. I'll put a decimal in here so my answer is displayed as a decimal and I want to solve for C. So when I close that off and solve, I get my answer, which I see here is 16.90. which is about what I got here as well. And I can do the same thing to find my other diagonal. If I know that consecutive angles in the rhombus uh, are supplementary, that would mean this whole angle is the supplement of 50 or 130. And so I'll call this uh, D here. I still have side lengths of 20. So I can use the D squared is equal to 20 squared plus 20 squared minus 2 times 20 times 20 times the cosine of this angle is 130. Solve for D. And so notice, really, I have almost all the exact same numbers. So all I have to do is change my 50 to a 130. And that's it. That's the only change that I need to make in my whole calculation. Everything else is the same. And even though I'm not solving for C, I'm not going to take the time to change that letter because now when I hit enter, I get 36.25. Again, the same thing that I got when I used the uh, individual trig ratios. 